Have you ever wanted to feel the thrill of racing at high speeds just inches from the ground, where precision, speed, and skill come together? How is everyone doing today? We're diving into the world of Nasraya extreme sports. From the sky to the ocean and everywhere in between, we're exploring the most exhilarating, death-defying activities on the planet. So let's get started. First on the list, downhill skateboarding. Downhill skateboarding involves riding a skateboard down steep winding roads at high speeds, often exceeding 60 miles per hour. Riders must master balance, control, and braking techniques to navigate sharp turns and maintain stability. The sport is both thrilling and dangerous, requiring extensive practice and protective gear. Teutonia, Brazil is known for its steep gradients and smooth roads, hosting some of the most competitive downhill skateboarding events. Mary Hill Loops Road in Washington State is another iconic location featuring smooth pavement and numerous hairpin turns, making it a favorite for downhill skateboarders. Essential gear includes a high quality downhill skateboard, full face helmet, slide gloves, knee pads, elbow pads, and a leather or Kevlar suit for added protection. Second on the list, highlining. Highlining is the act of walking on a slack line strung high above the ground, often between cliffs or over canyons. This sport demands exceptional balance, focus, and mental strength. Highliners use harnesses and safety lines to mitigate the risks of falling. Another popular spot is in Yosemite Valley, California, and the French Alps in France offer breathtaking views and challenging highlines suspended over deep gorges, which provides a variety of highlining routes with stunning natural backdrops. Highliners need a strong, durable slack line, a harness, a leash, and a backup safety line, along with climbing equipment for setting up lines. Third on the list, skydiving. Skydiving involves jumping from an aircraft at high altitude and free falling before deploying a parachute to slow the descent for a safe landing. This exhilarating experience combines the rush of free fall with the serenity of gliding under the parachute. Interlock in Switzerland provides the stunning views of the Alps with skydivers experiencing the thrill of free fall amidst some of the most picturesque scenery in the world. Another top location is Queenstown, New Zealand, known for its dramatic landscapes and adventure sports culture, where skydiving can be done at some local airports. Skydivers need a parachute system, main and reserve parachutes, an altimeter, a jumpsuit, a helmet, goggles, and an automatic activation device for safety. Fourth on the list, sandboarding. Sandboarding is similar to snowboarding, but takes place on sand dunes instead of snow-covered slopes. Riders strap on boards and slide down steep, sandy hills, often performing tricks and jumps along the way. The Great Sand Dunes National Park in Colorado features some of the tallest sand dunes in North America, offering an ideal terrain for both beginners and experienced sandboarders. Another prime location is Huacachina, Peru, known for its massive desert dunes and vibrant sandboarding community. Sandboarders need a specially designed sandboard, boots, protective gear like helmets and knee pads, and speed wax for the board to ensure smooth sliding. Fifth on the list, whitewater rafting. Whitewater rafting involves navigating a raft through turbulent river rapids, requiring teamwork, quick decision-making, and physical endurance. Rafters face varying levels of rapids, from gentle streams to intense roaring waters. The James River in Virginia and Snake River, Wyoming, is famous for its challenging rapids and stunning scenery, providing one of the most exhilarating whitewater rafting experiences in the world. The Colorado River through the Grand Canyon is another iconic destination, offering a mix of calm stretches and thrilling rapids. Essential gear includes a durable inflatable raft, paddles, life jackets, helmets, wetsuits, and appropriate footwear for traction and protection. Sixth on the list, base jumping. Base jumping involves parachuting from fixed objects such as buildings, antennas, spans, bridges, and cliffs. It is one of the most dangerous extreme sports due to the low altitude 
and minimal time to deploy the parachute. The Lauter Brunnen Valley in Switzerland is a hotspot for base jumpers, offering numerous high cliffs and breathtaking views that attract jumpers from around the globe. Another famous location is the New River Gorge Bridge in West Virginia, which hosts an annual base jumping event called Bridge Day. Base jumpers need a specialized parachute system designed for low altitude jumps, a wingsuit for certain jumps, a helmet, and body armor for added protection. Seventh on the list, downhill mountain biking. Downhill mountain biking is a gravity-assisted biking discipline where riders descend rugged terrain at high speeds. The sport requires technical skill to navigate obstacles, jumps, and sharp turns. Whistler Mountain Bike Park in Canada is one of the premier destinations for downhill mountain biking, featuring a variety of trails ranging from beginner to expert levels. Another top spot is the North Star Bike Park in Truckee, California, and Queenstown Bike Park, New Zealand, known for their challenging descents and stunning scenery. Riders need a high-quality downhill mountain bike with strong suspension, a full-face helmet, body armor, gloves, knee and elbow pads, and goggles for eye protection. Eighth on the list, wingsuit flying. Wingsuit flying involves jumping from a high point cliffs or aircraft and gliding through the air using a specialized jumpsuit that adds surface area to the body, allowing for controlled flight. This sport offers a sensation of flying like a bird combined with the adrenaline of free fall. The Troll Wall in Norway is a renowned spot for wingsuit flying with its sheer cliffs and dramatic scenery providing an ideal environment for this breathtaking sport. Another popular location is Sun Valley in Idaho, known for its high peaks and stunning landscapes. Essential gear includes a wingsuit, a parachute system, a helmet, altimeter, and sometimes a GPS for navigation and safety. Ninth on the list, free solo climbing. Free solo climbing is rock climbing without any ropes, harnesses, or protective gear, relying solely on the climber's skill, strength, and mental focus. It is one of the most perilous forms of climbing due to the lack of safety measures. El Capitan in Yosemite National Park is a legendary granite monolith that attracts elite climbers attempting to scale its vertical face without any support. Another renowned location is the Red Rock in Nevada, offering challenging routes with breathtaking views. While free solo climbing doesn't require traditional climbing gear, Climbers often use climbing shoes and chalk to improve grip and performance. Tenth on the list, big wave surfing. Big wave surfing involves riding massive ocean waves, typically over 20 feet high, requiring advanced surfing skills, physical endurance, and the ability to remain calm under pressure. Nazar, Portugal is famous for its gigantic waves, often reaching heights of up to 100 feet making it a prime location for surfers seeking to conquer some of the largest waves in the world. Another top destination is the North Shore of Oahu, Hawaii, particularly the waves at Waimea Bay and the Banzai Pipeline, known for their size and power. Big wave surfers need a large, durable surfboard designed for stability and speed, a wetsuit for thermal protection, a leash to keep the board attached, and often an inflatable vest for added safety in the event of a wipeout. Wow, what an incredible journey through the world of extreme sports. There's no limit to the adventures you can experience. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my top 10 lowdown. And remember, extreme sports are about pushing boundaries, but always prioritize safety. Thanks for watching and have a great day.